Hello students and welcome to the video tutorial on Contributing on Blackboard. Blackboard allows students to engage with their course learning online in more ways than just doing tests and handing in assignments. This video will give you an overview of some of the tools that you might use to contribute to your courses, including blog posts, wikis, discussion boards, and journals, and how each tool contributes to your learning. To get started, simply log into Blackboard and go to a site for one of your enrolled courses. You may not see all of the tools listed in the menu to the side of the screen, but if they've been enabled by your instructor, they'll be available under the Tools menu. Let's take a look at the differences between these tools and discuss where and why each one would be useful. Blogs are for students to write individual entries around a common topic assigned by your instructor. Click Create Blog Entry to post a blog. These posts can then be read by your instructor and your classmates. Your instructor might ask you to answer a few questions or to contribute your opinion on a topic that was brought up in class. You can save a blog entry as a draft or submit it immediately to be read by instructors and classmates. Wikis are like blogs, only multiple users can edit their content. Wikis are used to collaboratively pool information, where many students can contribute to a single wiki entry. Instructors will commonly use wikis as a way for students to collect their knowledge about a subject, allowing everyone to add information or links or even media revolving around a certain theme or topic. To contribute to a wiki, select Edit Wiki Content. You can either add, edit, or delete information from the wiki page, and then click Submit to save your work. Discussion boards are an open forum where students can post questions or comments, usually organized into different topic categories. Students can use these discussion boards to reply to other people's postings, or begin a new series of posts. This is what's called a thread. Use the discussion boards if you want to ask your classmates a question, or get a discussion started around a certain topic. Finally, students can also keep notes and record their learning progress by using the online course journal tool. Unlike all the other tools discussed, journals are for a student's own personal use and can't be seen by an instructor. Use them to keep track of your assignments and your readings, or you can just use them to take notes. I hope this video has helped you think about the ways in which you can contribute to the content of a course using Blackboard. Thanks for watching.